Welcome back. We're continuing on with the custom speaker pods for the CF Moto Z Force 800EX. Stick around and let's see how this goes. There. Right. Thanks for sticking around. As we just said, we're finishing up the the speaker pods for the, the CF Moto. As you can see, they did take a bit of a change since last time I edited anything. Getting the speakers did arrive. I'm going to show them in another video here shortly. This one here is going to be, we're just finishing off, making sure everything is going to be airtight, making sure we got everything built up to where it needs to be so we can give it its final sanding The bench is a huge mess right now after dealing with all this fiberglass. But once they're done, I've decided I'm going to paint them orange to match the, the bike itself. That mixed with the, the black grills, I think will set it off quite nice. When I was doing some test fitting, I had to uh, make some notches to go around where the factory mounts are, and I kind of went a little bit too deep and poked a few holes in this thing. And I got to fill them in and then start working on the outside. But after a lot of sanding, grinding, shaping, we did, uh, I did manage to get them to fit in. They tuck in real good. I'm real happy with the fitment of them. One thing that has changed is I'm not using the Grand Zero Marine speakers anymore. I was I went to order them through my suppliers and they were quick to tell me that they weren't in stock and didn't have any real ETA on when they were showing up so I chose to go with another another set of speakers which I will show you on another video when we get ready to wire these all up and and get them ready. I just didn't want to get too far ahead and then you miss out on a lot of the the build of it. Up that now we'll 
start putting some on the other side here. Welcome back to the to my channel, everybody. We're uh, we're getting ready to wire up our speaker for our door pods or speaker pods for the side by side. We are starting with the left front. I say left front because I plan to put another set in the back as well, and we're using the actual aftermarket colors. You've got your white, white black. We are going to be soldering the wires to the terminals here and uh, put in a two, con two pin waterproof connector to keep everything nice and clean and have it so if I ever have to take the speaker out, it'll we can take it out and replace it if needed or just remove it to make it better. And for those of you trying to figure out what speakers these are, I've left them upside down to keep you guessing for a minute. But they are the DB Drive WDX Moto 6 CDs. I'll give you a quick description of them here once we're done wiring.
that's those on there. So we're gonna put some heat shrink and some tech flex on there. Got a little bit of dust on it, but there they are there. They're rated at 250 watts RMS, 500 peak, frequency range of 90 hertz to 18 kilohertz. They have an impressive 102 dB for the sensitivity. So we should really be able to hear that going down the trails even driving in the hurricane. They're your basic six and a half inch two-way. Has a one inch aluminum compression style tweeter. It's element rated. So it's going to be good for being out inside the cab of this thing, of the side-by-side. -side. It's only just over two and a half inches in total depth which was really nice so you should hear this thing coming down the trail long before you ever see it For right now, we're only going to be running it off of the deck power. But there is plans to put a little power pack onto it and bring it up some more. bring over the pod and I'll show you a bit about the pod